Um, so yeah, you look behind me, you can see we've got a chance for strong to severe storms on Friday. Areas highlighted in yellow will have the highest likelihood to be seeing those. And again, large hail potential, damaging wind potential, and even an isolated tornado threat too. So going to have to keep an eye on that day. For now though, soak it in. It is beautiful outside. Skies have been clear. It's been comfortable. Winds have been light. Humidity has been down. These are the days you dream of. And uh, as we head into the next few here, we're going to have some bumps. As I said, uh, tomorrow's not looking bad. It's going to be a whole lot less sunny. If you want to see some sun tomorrow, get out early because those clouds are going to be pushing their way on in. And you can see as they do, they could bring a few showers with them. It's going to be really light hit or miss stuff if that does materialize. That advances eastward. And you can see as we head into Friday, starting the day off with chances for rain, it'll be a little bit warmer. Very widespread showers, the potential for a few thunderstorms. What we see in the morning will not be the primary severe weather threat, though. As we head into the afternoon, that will materialize as a line forms and starts to work its way eastward across the state. Again, the area with the highest threat will be central and southern portions of the state, but we very, may, very well may see some of this bleed over into early on Saturday as we continue to see those temperatures in the middle 80s. So we've got chances for rain to around a quarter to a half an inch. Keep in mind this goes through 530 on Friday. If we push this a little bit later into Saturday morning, we'd likely see those numbers uptick a little bit as the stronger storms work their way on through. So again, we do not need the rain across much of the state, especially to the northwest, but this could be some more heavy rain for some spots, which we'll have to keep an eye on as well. A nice night though. Boone looking good as we got the trains all lit up out there. Algona looking nice as well. Uh, West Des Moines quiet and temperature wise comfortable. 68 for Algona, 70 for Spencer, 60s for Carroll as well. Metro again, the hotspot at 78. And as we look at your forecast, temperatures going to be pumping back into the upper 70s to low 80s. We'll build in those clouds, bring in that chance for an isolated shower. And as we head later on into the overnight, again, Thursday into Friday, we'll bring in more chances for showers and thunderstorms. Watch the moisture build into Friday, though. So we work that moisture in again, temperatures will increase. And that's going to provide uh, enough oomph for those storms on Friday. So again, part of the reason why we could see some stronger storms out there. 62 degrees tonight. We'll keep those skies mostly clear tomorrow. Back up to 80 degrees under mostly sunny skies. Again, that chance for a shower as we head uh, later into the afternoon and evening. We are weather aware on Friday for that potential for strong to severe storms. After that, though, if you're headed out to the Art Fest on the weekend, it is looking nearly picture perfect. Again, early in the morning, if you're headed to the farmer's market, Market, maybe bring that umbrella. Could see some showers and thunderstorms there. After that, we clear it out, bringing more chances for storms on Monday and back into the low 90s by Tuesday.